man. I'm good. It's good to be in North America with you, friend. We, you know, it's been so long since we last casted together. It's, it's good to be here. It's nice to be here. And what a game we've got coming up here. Luminosity versus Oxygen Supremacy. Arguably, for me, one of the top AM teams coming out of the uh, out the AM bracket, taking on Luminosity, who had some really positive performances yesterday, Harry. Yeah, definitely. And, and honestly... I think it, the, one of the players that really stood out for me from Luminosity is going to be Saiyan, and I think that's who we really should start off with. It's going to be the same game types we saw in the last series, as we saw in the series layout as broken down by the analyst. Saiyan, we're going to start this one off with on Brick Strongholds. After that, we'll have Regret Slayer, Truth Flag, and then, of course, games four and five, if they are needed. But it looks like Saiyan and the boys do not want those games four and five. They want to steam through this series, and they've already got a fresh two dead, and they're going to have control to start this game, too. They are indeed. Saiyan immediately going for that scatter shot and putting it to use. Collapsing on that base, but to take it back, it looks like they are going to try and contest this BR base as well. Off screen, Saiyan trying to bounce a few of these scatter shot bullets off of the roof to try and take down that player who was creeping around the white corner. Now going to move over to War with his team mate Trippy here to try and capture that nest, but Ryan Oop has managed to get the other power weapon on the map, and that's the railgun. Yeah, he does. Uh, I believe it was Ryan Oop with the railgun, but. Saiyan still has this scatter shot. Both those weapons, of course, reduced by one clip. That really helps prevent the snowball nature of the rig, especially on, on uh, the Strongholds game type, which we are seeing right now. BR based and Ness going in favor of Luminosity. That's going to mean they are scoring. And they're doing really good, making sure they're rotating to a Stronghold as soon as the uh, the enemy team are trying to get those. You can see Victory there is going to try and collapse on BR base, but he's outnumbered by Ryan Oob and Nemesis. <laughs> See if Saiyan could actually just clean both those up, but Ryan Oob's doing such work so far in this game. Wanna hop over to him because every time I see the kill feed, it's Ryan Oob popping heads left, right, and center from Oxygen Supremacy. So that's another kill in a row right there. I believe he's actually leading the game with seven kills so far in this game for Ryan Oob. Very nice stuff. Very nice slaying performance. Yeah, very hot stuff from Ryan Oob and Oxygen Supremacy had a momentary triple cap there as well. Nemesis picks up another kill, taking down Victory X. Ryan Oob now be pushing towards the top edge. He's gonna have a 1v1 battle here but smartly backs down as he twos two players from Luminosity charging at him through that engine. But Contra's going to get that first kill, which means that they are going to have the advantage as far as numbers are concerned here, Harry. And they're going to be able to hold this setup off the nest and the basement. Yeah, really smart decision right there for Ryan Oob to back off to that bad ledge. And, and you can see right here, he, he just wants to try and contest that Whitehall kind of engine two area and prevent any of the LG players pushing out. A couple of trays coming in, 2v2 right now. He needs to win this fight, doesn't quite land the headshot and as a result will go down. So that's going to allow LG to try and start capturing that nest. If he makes that kill happen, that nest capture is going to be so much more difficult. But they do get the first kill, which means they should really, realistically be able to capture this one back. But Victory has the railgun and a camouflage as well. So really, uh, it's going to be tough for, for Oxygen Supremacy here to try and stop this man right here. He could get some serious kills in the road. Yeah, Victory X obviously has all of the tools to pick up some kills in that kill feed. Going to be pushing and getting the reset on this Nest Stronghold as well. Now scoping in, trying to find any of these players coming off the respawn on the carbine. Going to have one in his sights and takes down Contra. That's going to be two dead now for the guys on Oxygen Supremacy. Luminosity do have the double cap as well, and it looks like Victory X going to move back to this underpass area, going to move around. And oh, down. look at this, Harry. He's got them all lined up in front of him. It's all about if he can play this one nicely. Finds one, on going to find two here, and there comes Trippy to pick up the third, and that is four dead as Saiyan picks up the final kill. A fresh four dead and total control. That is, that's so well, so well played there from Victory. I mean, We're with the camouflage the right there, he really could have just distracted and confused Ooh, some of the Oxygen Supremacy members by just by sitting in the corner, but instead he went full aggressive, knew he had the support from his teammates, perfect collapse there from Luminosity, and as a result, look at this lead they are storming into, 46 to 35 now, and at the moment, Oxygen Supremacy, they don't have an answer for this. They need the first kill and luckily Nemesis has, has got that for them so let's see if they can springboard off of this and start getting a, at least a stronghold back on the board because this scoring really is escalating in Luminosity's favor right now 56 to 35. Triple cap still in effect it's been almost sort of 15 20 seconds with this triple cap in and we know how devastating that can be now almost doubling the score of their opponents. Ryan who does pick up a kill on Saiyan with that grenade trying to put some lovely shots down on Ninja there looking for the triple kill as well but that player backs down 
Ryan Noob not going to be uh, not going to be picking up that present of a triple kill. Does manage to secure the basement though, but still it is Luminosity who are scoring the points as Ryan Noob takes down one more player, 71 to 35. Though Harry, it's time for Oxygen Supremacy to go right now. Yeah, it is. I've been so impressed with Ryan Noob's slaying performance so far in this game. I actually want to stick with him off the respawn. Oh, I thought the thrust back there from the Ninja might just allow him to get the Ninja on Contra right there, but the camouflage is burnt. So, like I said, we'll stick with Ryan Noob's uh, point of view off the respawn. His slaying performance very well so far. Actually, leads the game with 11 kills, leading his team as well, obviously. And honestly, his teammates need to bounce off of him, right? And and it seems like they're doing this. This is the position where they can really get back into this game. They have a triple cap. They need slaves surrounding it, though. And that's what LG have done so well that Oxygen weren't able to do. And now it's going to be Sane and the boys to stop that bleeding immediately. And now they can formulate a push from this. They need the first kill, and then they can work from there. But they all, are all trapped in this bunker spawn at the moment. It looks like map control is firmly in the hands of the guys from Oxygen Supremacy. Saiyan trying to do something about it. Ninja picks up a big kill, though, to potentially allow them all to escape from that, ba that bunker spawn. Sorry, but as we saw there, momentarily, Saiyan looking around that corner. The railgun has fallen into the hands of Oxygen Supremacy, but Saiyan takes down Nemesis there, and it looks like they're going to potentially try and make a push towards this nest. But there it is. The railgun from Contra is going to shut down Saiyan, and that is something you need to do if you're going to beat this, uh, this Luminous. Lineup. Yeah, great railgun shot there from Contra, not only because it was an important kill to make, but that player is in the white hall, white corner position as well. Very strong position on the map, so really nice shot there from Contra. Key kill, and you can see the kills going in favor of Oxygen, Oxygen Supremacy right here, which means they're going to be able to push this triple cap once again. Not sure if I like three players actually going for this BR base. I'd like to see a couple of players stick back and just try and contest this basement. As a result, they may surrender this to Luminosity, which they do, but if they can pick up fresh slays right here, then potentially Potentially, they could get the triple cap restored, which it looks like they're going to be able to do so. And the railgun coming up with Ryan Oob having this in his possession too. And Facebook has actually just reset. Misses the shot too. No, That's a key fight to lose. Saiyan wins the fight with the final shot in his magnum. That's ridiculous. But triple cap still going to oxygen though. Oh my word, 78-78 mark, this is a close one. That could be a game changer, taking that railgun out of the hands of that Luminous, uh, sorry, out of that Oxygen Supremacy player. Two pails do go down though, Victory X manages to answer back, saying he's gonna be the last player alive here. As you can see, that camouflage just popped as well. Ninja trying to desperately go for that. Saiyan doing such a good job here to just stop those players getting that camouflage. Ninja actually picks up a double kill here. Saiyan doing all the work, but look at this, just 15 points. Now, are the guys from Oxygen Supremacy from taking this? Saiyan does go down around that nest. The Trippy's there the trying to get the cap. Victory X trying to push the barrels as well, but there is a player behind him trying to push and finish off these kills. Ninja picks up the kill in the kill feed. Contra takes down Victory X as we just saw there. This game is getting really, really tight. Luminosity have managed to get control of the BR base and that nest, however, Harry. This is getting really close right at the end here. Yeah, although they're not scoring right now, I actually believe this game is in the hand of Oxygen Supremacy. You can see Contra picking up a kill. Destroy chimes in with one, two. He can make it two make here as three. well. That's great. Three down there for, for LG. I'm not sure why the team isn't actually collapsing towards that triple cap, though. That's a key point. You just kill three fresh LG members. You know they're going to be spawning towards the basement, and there you go. Why did you not push the BR base right there, Oxygen? I'm not too sure. <laughs> this could actually come back to bite them towards the end of the game. We'll see. Ryan Oop has managed to get the railgun, but Ryan Oop is going to be taken down. Can they manage to get this basement? It would be huge. Did they get the reset? They did not, but there is a player from Luminosity who is in the nest at the moment. Possibly even two players. I believe they're double capping this. They have managed to get that. It's all up to Oxygen Supremacy to try and finish off these kills and recapture this nest stronghold. All of the action here, Harry, going to be going on around this nest. Yeah, and that's pretty much the game-changing hill right now. That's going to be actually going in favor of Oxygen Supremacy. So LG realistically have one last push. It's going to be, I believe that was destroyed, actually getting a traded basement. I believe that will be the game. Wow, Oxygen Supremacy take game one against Luminosity. Wow, what a game that was. That was back and forth and back and forth. That was a crazy game to start this series, but it is actually Oxygen Supremacy, the underdogs taking down Luminosity in game one, Harry. And that was uh, some really, really, um, I don't really know the words to describe it because my English is terrible. Yeah. But some really veteran type plays from coming out from some of those players that seasoned. we saw towards the end. Seasoned. There yeah, we go. That's a, there we go. That's I, why I've got yeah, you here. I read dictionaries. No, oh, not this again. <laughs> you read Globes back in Wembley, but now you're, uh, now you're reading dictionaries. I've upgraded. You've upgraded. <laughs> I respect that. But that's a huge result there for uh, for 
Supre uh, Oxygen Supremacy there, obviously taking down that pro squad Luminosity. That's going to give them all sorts of confidence going into that game too, as we bring up to the stats. Yeah, looking at the scoreboard, 20 assists from Destroyed. Ooh. I actually saw he wasn't having the, uh, the best of games to start things off for Oxygen Supremacy, which, by the way, is so hard to say. Oxygen Supremacy, Oxygen Supremacy. It's, it's, Especially it's us, knowing that French yeah. Supremacy squad that we're so used exactly. to casting over. It feels innovation. like two different oh, team names. But, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, just, just nothing really too much of note right here. I actually wanted to check out the damage dealt. And highest damage was actually Dastroid, who had the uh, the 2.7k damage and those 20 assists as well. So didn't have the best of starts, but also, uh, you know, was putting damage down for his team. So very important place. Well, one thing I do want to point out here, Harry, if you compare the amount of assists, luminosity versus oxygen supremacy, the team shot from oxygen supremacy, obviously far superior. Yeah, and so important to do that on the rig strongholds as well, when you're constantly rotating and working together as a team. It's, it's important to do that, and, and I said it in the last series, I'll say it in this one as well. The team that plays well on Rig often plays well on Regret as well, because it's such a team fire focused map. So if you can just coordinate your pushes as you did on the Rig, on Regret as well, and work around the power up that comes up at bottom middle every two minutes, often you'll find you'll, you'll be in a similar situation. You'll find yourself comfortable on, on Regret Slayer. So be interesting to see if Oxygen take this one or, or if Luminosity just, just wake up after a slow start and, and start to bounce back in this series. It's very interesting we talk about these game types that we see on your screen right now. If you're just joining us, obviously a hotly contested first game there. 100 to 95 going in the hands of Oxygen Supremacy. But Regret Slayer, True CTF, Empire Strongholds. While she mentioned it on the desk, upset potential game types, Harry. What is it about these game types that lends themselves to that sort of upset potential? Who knows, Mark? Fast pace? Potentially. Potentially. Potential. Potentially. Potential. It's potential there, Mark. I think I'm going to go with the fast paced nature of all these game types. We saw there the rotations, the ability of all of the guys on Oxygen Supremacy to basically fly around the map and get involved in so many battles. Not a control based game type so much, more, as you say, free flowing, moving around the map and things like that. Now, moving on to Regret Slayer, where's your money as far as this match is concerned? It's, it's after what I saw from Luminosity at Worlds, obviously not the same lineup that attended Worlds. They, they did make the one change. They, they took this off Splice at Worlds and, and it was so perfectly played in, in a game seven. So I'm, I'm taking Luminosity on this one just because I like the way they play this. But if Oxygen Supremacy plays similarly in the, in the way they did in game one, I, I can see them taking this as well. So I think this still will be a, a very good game. It's definitely going to be one to watch. And uh, I know we always talk about certain players that sort of pop out to us for, from certain teams. But one player that I do want to talk about a little bit on this Oxygen Supremacy team is Destroyed. We saw him put up 20 assists in that last game. He's one of those players who sort of fought his way through the AM brackets. I th think he first brought, came out onto the scene back at the Esports Arena event where he, I think they beat Envy, the lineup he was on. I might be wrong with that. Um, but he kind of came out of there and he's fought through the AM bracket and he's found himself on a team alongside the likes of Ryan Oob, Nemesis, who's sort of been in and out of that sort of the bottom tier of pro players, top tier AM players, and obviously Contra coming off the back of EG. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how he's played. I'd like to watch him in the next game. But I mean, what have Luminosity got to do a little bit differently from what you saw in that first game to take the second one? So it's it's tough really to judge luminosity off of the first game because that was really all about decision making right i mean i mean strongholds and slayer obviously plays a little bit different strongholds you, you have to be working completely as a team you have to be making coordinated pushes and be rotating together and making sure you're working together right slayer is is a little bit different especially on regret because you can flank around especially with this new radar you can start making individual plays that can change the game in my opinion, just make sure you're, you're, you're grabbing these power-ups, right? Put this overshield into use, grab these rifles, start putting damage down, getting up high, pinning the other team into the base if you're Luminosity, and, and that's what you've got to do to win this game. Well, the game has got underway here. We're on board of Victory X to start this one up. Lovely shots there. Contra going to actually manage to get away with that overshield from the start, though. Contra taking down Ninja in the process as well, so it's going to be the first overshield of the game going into Oxygen Supremacy, and that's exactly what they needed, Harry. Yeah, it's exactly what they needed, and this is exactly what we're talking about. As soon as you grab that power-up, that's it. Leave the bottom of the map completely, get up high, start pinning the other team in the base start putting damage down. That's what Contra is so good at doing. In my opinion, one of the best shots in the game. His aim is ridiculous. It, it was honestly very surprising to me when I, I saw he didn't actually get picked up by a pro roster. Will be taken down right there. Uh, let's hop over to Destroyed. Didn't really see too much of him in the last game. 
And let's see what he can do. He actually put up those 20 assists in the last game. So we talk about putting damage down on this map. Very important to do so. And he takes down Ninja very nicely right there. Yeah, some beautiful shots from him, but very interesting to see. It was actually the guys from Luminosity, even though they didn't get the overshield, who had that initial lead. They're now up by just the one kill as kills are traded. As you can see, destroyed, looking across the top midsection of the map, looking towards the pink and just seeing red dots across the board. So he's just going to be holding down the car part of the map at the moment as his teammates are having the fight in blue base and they are winning them as well. Nemesis with a huge double kill. Saiyan going to be pushing destroyed back to top mid and making him back down. But look at this map control firmly in the hands of the guys from Oxygen Supremacy. Yeah, map control and height control. And look at the kill streak. Oxygen Supremacy just chiming in with kills. That's two in a row and now a three point lead. And key, key kills in the next 30 or so seconds are going to be very important because the overshield is coming up in that time frame as well. About around 25 seconds until that comes up. So kills in that kind of period of time are going to be very important because that's going to allow your team the advantage playing around that power-up, which is so important here on the grid. And not only that, they've managed to get control of this plasma pistol, the, the antidote to the overshield as well. So in this position, destroyed. Such an important player here for Oxygen Supremacy. Doing so much damage like we saw in that last game as well. But even if they do manage to slip through and let Luminosity pick up that overshield, I was going to say, if Destroyed can stay alive with that plasma pistol, they do have the opportunity to take him down as well. But it is Ryan Oob who is going to pick that one up for his squad. Victory X and Saiyan pick up kills in the kill feed. But it is Oxygen Supremacy with a one kill lead and they also as you can see on your screen Ryan Oob overshield in hand yeah interesting play there from Luminosity they actually completely disregarded the overshield I was watching our four four eight man POVs and, and it was only Ryan Oob who was down low he got it completely for free uncontested so Luminosity sacrificing that overshield in favor of fight control and they just need to make sure they're winning these team fights around this map control now because they allowed Ryan Oob to, to grab that overshield fair enough it was burnt straight away and wasn't really put to massive use it was a big risk leaving that overshield and honestly they could be punished by teams that, that know how to put that into bed. Ninja with the flank though to take down Ryan Upu. Not only had the overshield, he also had that plasma cast. The victory X will be taken down as he tries to get away bottom mid, but Nemesis picks up a double. Kills are gonna be traded out and we're almost at that 20 kill mark, Harry. Already nothing to say between the teams, tied up 19 to 19. Victory X going to be pushing towards Pete. You can see all of his teammates here trying to make a push on top middle. The team fire coming across map as well as those grenades going flying in. The player does drop down on his radar below in P1, but look at this Contra. Fantastic shots and it's going to be three dead here for Luminosity as uh, Nemesis is going to be sat in his respawn screen as we see Contra jumping up top mid, standing with, through, with him through the respawn, however, but look at the fire he's coming over. Oh Ninja just <laughs> melting him with his teammates and uh, he's going to be Crouching around P1 at the moment, but still a two-kill lead in the hands of Oxygen Supremacy. I wanted to give him a little bit of love, um, and then he got melted. So, <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else I can do. I'm sorry, Nemesis, I tried. But them's the break sometimes, right? When you go up against a team like you, you must uh, on, on this game type in particular, very good at being just such a, a thorn in the side. Uh, it's so tough to, to, when you're spawning at P1, you just get absolutely melted by the team. Sorry, Nemesis, yeah. <laughs> just going straight back at the region. Saying going to be taken down now. That overshield up as well. Victory X is trying to fight for it, but it's going to be the third overshield in a row, I believe, going into the hands of Oxygen Supremacy. Haven't managed to get too big a kill lead, though, Harry, from these overshields. Destroyed is going to be trying to stay alive as his overshield is going to be melted off. Does have that plasma pistol again, though, so Oxygen Supremacy, can he hit this shot? Can he finish it off on Victory X? He can take down Victory X. Destroyed starting to heat up right now, and for the first time, we see a four-kill lead. Make it a three-kill lead as Saiyan answers back, but a little bit of a lead here developing for one of these squads. Absolutely. It's honestly very surprising to see Luminosity not go for any of these overshields. I mean, they've obviously fought around them sometimes, but three to zero, the power-up pickups in favor of Oxygen Supremacy. So the pro team at the moment really struggling on these power-ups. Three kill lead though, Oxygen Supremacy, Contra picking up another one, we're going to go on board with Destroyed, maybe he won't get melted this time. He's going to come under fight here and he's going to lose it as Ninja picks up the kill there. Ryan who picks a kill as well to answer back, so they're managing to maintain this three kill lead. Team Fire coming in, Ryan who cleans up that kill that Nemesis just started there, desperately trying to stay alive. It looks like the Plasma Caster was in the hands of the guys from Luminosity, but look at the kill feed, he's just lighting up blue at this point. Ryan who trying to clean up this kill on the car side of the map, going to be challenged top mid by Trippy. Trippy takes him down, a two kill game now, Harry. Yeah, a two kill game, and what's a very interesting start about this game? Three caster pickups and three overshield pickups. All three in the game. All six in the game, actually. 
for Oxygen Supremacy. Absolutely zero for Luminosity Gaming. So, yeah, very surprising to see this pro team just, just struggling on these power weapons and power ups and on this game type in particular. They have another bite of the cherry right here. You see the castle coming up in a second and also the overshots coming up in around 15. So, with a four point lead right here, Oxygen Supremacy need to make sure they at least contest this overshield and Luminosity, they, they need this overshield if they want to get back in this game, in my opinion. So, we're towards the last 10 kills of the game. Ninja trying to clean up this kill here, but Contra comes around the corner and helps Ryan Eve stay alive. Victory X gonna go for the burn on this overshield. Does get a burn, but that's all it is going to be. The kill lead is a six point swing at this point. Destroyed, gonna be working his way back into the blue base, blocking these small spawns smartly, Harry, so they know that all of the Luminosity players are gonna be spawning across this red base. Has that BR in hand? Nice position in here for Oxygen Supremacy to potentially look to close this one out. Yeah, immediate height control from them, but that play from, from Victory, he just stays alive for a little bit longer. He grabs that overshield, and honestly, I think the hopes of Luminosity's game pretty much just disappeared right there, in my opinion. Obviously, it's not over till it's over, but this Oxygen Supremacy team playing so well that, you know, you can tell they're so well drilled in terms of what they want to do, how they want to block spawns, and... Like you said, I mean, they're really bringing this to Luminosity right now. You can see Raidu on his face. He's getting fired up in that player cam. getting fired up. Seven point lead, three kills to go. Oxygen Supremacy, they're about to go 2 nil up in this series. Three kills to go in this game. Raidu just patrolling top mid. Looking for any players he can find at the moment. Come out, I come think out, all of the players are stuck in the red base here for Luminosity. They know they cannot give up any kills. Trippy desperately trying to stay alive. Now is the time to push for me if you're on Oxygen Supremacy. They have the shots on all of these players. Victory does pick up a kill though. Ninja uh -oh. picks up a second kill. Somehow Luminosity are managing uh -oh. to get out of this situation. Victory X, that's going to be three down. Make it four dead here for Oxygen Supremacy and a chance for Luminosity to get out of this base and get map control. A four kill game. Oxygen Supremacy just two kills away from closing it out. But you almost expected it to finish there, Harry. Yeah, Luminosity only have two deaths to play with. Saiyan will pick up a kill though. This is as tight as it gets. Luminosity, they need to play perfect. Good teamwork, but Saiyan goes down. That means only one death now. Nobody can die here for Luminosity if they want to win the game. Four kills to go. Oxygen Supremacy. The open bracket team, they take game two and go 2-0 up against the pro team Luminosity. Oh my. Wow. What are we seeing here, guys? These guys have turned up to play today, and you can hear them getting loud, even from our casting position here behind the stage. We can hear them getting loud. Two to zero, Harry, and once again, a really thorough, composed, professional performance from them. Yeah, Nemesis. Nemesis. <laughs> we, we tried going on his point of view, and he got absolutely melted off that P1 spawn, and he drops 19 kills. Okay. That's not bad. Maybe we start you, with You take getting melted once off spawns to go 19 and 13. Oh, yeah. I mean, you sometimes know, those respawns you, you happen, right? I mean, just uh, honestly, nothing really too bad to note on, on the LG side, right? I mean, obviously, those 14 deaths from, from victory, not the best. But uh, I actually want to check out the damage dealt to see, uh, see who was actually top in the boards. Ninja and Nemesis both up there with, with high damage dealt as well. So shout out to those guys. But geez, man, <laughs> who'd have thought, right? An open bracket team coming out of the open bracket, taking two games off of a pro league team. They are one game away from, from knocking them down to the loser's bracket of the championship bracket. And you've got to feel here, Contra, smart choice at this point. 2-0 up in the series, deciding to team with these players, maybe not go for the, maybe not, you know, get on that pro squad. He's got to be feeling good about himself now, but I think we have to talk about the story of the last game, Harry. The overshield pickups and the caster pickup. Yeah. Absolutely none from zero. luminosity. Zero. Nil point. There's there's none there. There is <laughs> zero overshield grabs for luminosity. All four going in favor of Ryanub and Oxygen Supremacy. And we say they are an open bracket team. Let's not beat around the bush, right? This the, these there are a couple of former pros in here and a couple of young guns in there as well. This is definitely a pro caliber team. They're here at Daytona to show that. And you can see in the first two games so far in this series, they are they are so well drilled and they are they're on fire right now. So game number three is going to be Truth Capture the Flag, Harry. Classic Halo at its best. Three flags to win. Arena style map. We've seen how good these guys have looked on the last arena style map on regret. How do you see this one playing out? 
I'm honestly not really too sure. I, I think Luminosity definitely need to start playing on their, their power-ups a lot more. Um, I, I see them having a lot more success in this one, personally, because Victory uh, and Ninja, you know, they've been around in the past. You know, they, they know how, how previous iterations of this game type works. So honestly, it all comes down to who's going to be winning the team fights, right? So far in this series, we've seen a lot of great focus fire from the boys on Oxygen Supremacy, the guys on your screen right now. They, they've been working so well as a unit, focus firing on individuals, putting up masses of assists, damage dealt. And on truth, if you do that as a unit, you're going to have a great time. So if they can just coordinate their pushes into the base, have a player posting up in, in, in the courtyard, which you could do now because of the radar, playing basement and, and coming up through the Eli, as long as they have players doing that, as well as players locking down those those bubble spawns, making sure they're trapping players, stopping the overextenders, it's, it's a pretty simple game type to play. Well, an update from the floor we've just had as well. Splice are currently up 2-1 to one over Lethal Gaming. So Lethal Gaming taking a game off of Splice on the feature station. So uh, definitely some uh, some interesting, and it seems like there's a little bit of upset C at the yeah. moment this morning here in Daytona. And if I'm not mistaken, we actually do have the uh, feature station observer mode. So if that does go to a game five and this series ends fairly quickly, I believe we can jump straight in, Mark. So we'll keep an eye on that for you guys. But first of all, we've got to you know, keep got an eye on We've got some business to sort out here. We've got some business to attend to. And Luminosity, they certainly don't want to get 3 0 in this series. So they'll be coming out hot in this one, I expect. Well, well, people at home, make sure you use that hashtag HCS. Let us know how you think this series is going to pan out as we do move into truth. Capture the flag. The game is loading up. Harry, who do you want to start this one off with? Who has to have a big game for one of these squads? Uh, I'm going to say Ryan Noob. I like the way this guy plays this game type. He obviously has a great mind for the game. He obviously is going to be the, the shot caller for Oxygen Supremacy. And... He's, he's the guy, we, we spoke about spawns in the, in the pregame, he's going to be the guy that is always thinking about what his team's doing, his team's positioning based on where the teams are going to spawn. Nemesis with two, oh, Nemesis with Nemesis three. With three. That's great from him. And now Ryanoob, again, the sneaky beaver, already in a position to run this flag. And this could be 1-0 within around 30 seconds here for Oxygen Supremacy. Nemesis is on fire right now. Nemesis is destroying Luminosity right now. We go over to him just as he dies, but Ryanoob just did an entire circle of the map, running through the car side. Nemesis cleaned the entire team out from Luminosity. And Ryanoob just ran that flag back uncontested. 1-0 to Oxygen Supremacy already. Nemesis picking up another kill in your kill feed here. We need to go over this man, Harry. I'm sorry. We need to go over Nemesis. You, the guy is destroying right now. He is. And, and look at his position on the map. His, his shots are so good, man. Look at like those crisp shots right there. But that position is so important on the map. Top middle, you can fire down onto the pink street. And uh, honestly... It is the position that you need to be in <laughs> if you want to uh, if you want to be putting damage down. Reversal comes in there from Victory X. Very nice stuff. But wow, that's got to be shell shot for Luminosity. They're down two 0 in this series and down a flag capture already. So a lot of uh, much of an uphill battle to go in this uh, in this series. I think. Well, let's go on to stay on board with Victory X through the respawn at the moment. Let's see what Luminosity are doing to try and get back into this game. So Victory X going to be playing this one slow, is aware of the player potentially above him in the bubble. Going to look to flank round and pick up this kill, but it looks like that player is more than aware, and it's going to be Ryan Oob who wins that battle, putting Victory X back into the respawn screen. Ryan Oob doing such a good job here, and it seems like he is using the car side of the map so, so effectively, Ari. Yeah, he is, and, and <laughs> it's, it's kind of weird to see him almost blocking those bubble spawns, but you can see he was just being a nuisance right there. And every single time I go to a, a Luminosity player, they're, they're just getting absolutely hounded by a, a Supremacy player. So, very, uh, it's just suffocating. It's, I, I keep using the word, but it, it's suffocating from Oxygen, oxygen Supremacy. Is, is that a pun, by the way? It's, it, I like it. It's I, nice. think, I, think I think it, it, it was I think unintentional. It definitely, it definitely works. But the camouflage is coming up soon. I do believe actually Destroyed has that one. Uh, from Oxygen Supremacy. So we'll hop over to his point of view. And I can hear the players from here, Mark, on the stage. They're getting so loud and so pumped up. Oxygen Supremacy, they want this. They want to turn heads within the HCS landscape. They want to let people know we are here to play. Taking down Luminosity would be such a big scalp to take. And I really like what I'm seeing here, letting his teammate finish off that kill. If destroyed and the boys can finish off this final kill here, they will have the opportunity to run a flag. It looks like he's going to be pushed by two players, though. Tries to put damage onto both of them, but he is going to be cleared out here by the Luminosity squad on board with Ryanu at the moment. 
player is going to be jumping out in top mid, so he's going to be put back into respawn screen as well. But still a one flag lead at the moment, and Luminosity seems to just be struggling to get any sort of map pressure at the moment. It just all seems to be coming from this Oxygen Supremacy squad. Yeah, we say that though. They do have a couple of slays in a row, and, and now is their time really to start flanking and pushing into the base. They just slayed Rhino, which means he's going to be on a bit of a delayed respawn, as is destroyed. And now we can start moving this flag if you're Luminosity three down. This flag needs to start moving ASAP. Where are these spawners happening? And there you go, victory with another kill. That's Ryan Oob going down. They could go back to back right here. Saiyan is, is almost meant for a stick right there. I like the idea, but he will make a player no shields and also get a kill of his own as well. And, and now we're all tied up. That's so much better from Luminosity. That's all they needed to do. And with Ninja posted up front base right here, they still have a lot of map control. So very nice stuff actually from, from victory. Locking down those those bubble spawners, I talk about it so much, but if you let players overextend, we saw it earlier on and we also saw it yesterday. Uh, if you let players overextend from the bubble, it, it honestly can ruin your chances of winning this game. Like camouflage coming up soon, Mark. Keep an eye on players rotating around that pink one here. So impressed there with Luminosity Gaming. That was the first time they've had any sort of presence and they managed to work almost flawlessly to get that initial flag cap. It looks like Victory X is going to be missing the Spartan charge there. No problem, Trippy's got his back to help him out with that one. Trying to finish off this player as well. Looks like he's going to be rotating back, and I like what I'm seeing here. It looks like Victory X has started to clock onto the fact that Ryan Oob is always trying to flank through the car side of that base, so decided to turn around, make sure that he backed Ryan Oob down. Teammate does clear that one up. Ninja's found himself a camouflage as well. Also going to be looking to see if attack max bottom mid. It doesn't nope. look like it's on respawn at it the moment. There. It was there. He just didn't want it. Trippy picking up a kill, and look at this, Ninja now, sneakily moving under this base. He's going to have a lot of players in front of him. If he can pick up another kill here, this could potentially be three dead. That player goes disappearing out the window. Trippy follows him with a ground pound of his own. He can finish this kill on Nemesis here. They could potentially run the flag, but a good job here from Nemesis just buying his teammates time to get off the respawn. But Victory X looking over Ninja here, keeping him alive. Looks like Victory and Ninja, the duo, are going to be working together to try and pick up some kills. Does pick up one. If he can get around this corner, potentially could have run that flag. But Ryan it cleans him up. Yeah, Joe, excuse me. I was going to say Joey, that's that's trippy up there in pink too. It is going to be the player that they're going to try and play off right here. A lot of Ocean Supremacy players, you can see right there, still trying to fight out of their own base. If I'm saying right now, he just saw two. He saw a third in the flag. Why not push up to pink too right there? Why not, why not advance and get a little bit more map control? On? I'm not sure why he was so hesitant to do that. In my opinion, if he pushes up a little bit quicker right there, it's a lot easier for him to, uh, for his team to have a lot more map control. But they're still getting the slays, even though they're on their own side of the map. Again, I, I just, I would like to see them be a bit more decisive right here. Push forward. You just killed two again. Why, why are we waiting right here? Let's be a little bit quicker on these pushes. Saying, going to be pushing the car side of the base at the moment. As you say, Harry, looks like a little bit of hesitancy here from the guys on Luminosity. I think it's just one of those situations where they realize they can't really make any mistakes here. If they go four dead and a push, only two flag caps away from being basically losing the series as uh, we see a player coming off of respawn here. Let's go on board with Contra. The man has been having a strong, strong series along with the rest of his squad. Going to be cleaning up Victory X, working with the teammate once again. Nemesis picking up a second and look at the aggression yep. coming in from Contra. The difference between these two teams, Harry, as you say, right in front of our eyes. It's a complete contrast. I mean, as soon as Contra saw his team had two down, he was straight lining that base. And, and now look, they, they, they're in the base. They're in the faces of Luminosity, putting damage down, getting kills. If they can get a kill right here, they can run this flag, no problem. Fair enough, they have Renault overextender, a couple of overextenders now, but he's already weak. Contra's dealing with one and the flag's on the move. This is what Luminosity really should have done when they when they got that, that flag, and excuse me, when they got those couple of slays. Victory is in their own base pulling the flag, but it looks like the flag is on the move here with Nemesis. So as soon as they get that return, this is going to be 2-1 here to Oxygen Supremacy, no problem. Flag does go in. It is just one flag now for Oxygen Supremacy to send Luminosity Gaming into the lower part of the bracket. Nemesis having such a strong game for his squad at the moment. Four minutes, 40 left on the clock as well. And once again, Harry, I'm looking over and I'm seeing power up pickups. Again, Oxygen Supremacy just dominating that for their team. Yeah, they are. I mean, power up pickups. I mean, actually, it's, it's two to two at the moment. So Luminosity, Luminosity have had the fair share as well. But two kills again from Oxygen Supremacy. Luminosity, oh, I was going to say, <laughs> Luminosity were just getting out Slayed, but Victory to save the day. He will go down, though, and, and honestly, I, I just don't know who I want to watch right here. Curse the caster at the moment, and everyone's dying. Uh, what about Nemesis? You want to stay alive? No, you're on death screen. We'll stay with you, bros. Try and stay alive for us, please. Thank you.
Nips is going to be trying to bank a nade off of top mid here to try and weaken that player. Does get some hit markers, so he is going to be calling that one out to his teammates. That player is weak. But look at Harry, exactly like you said, not holding backwards, being aggressive, making sure he picks up his kills on the side of the map of this Luminosity squad. Saying here in the respawn screen, going forward with Victory X, though, he's going to be trying to do what he can, but again, getting killed from his own side of the map. We saw the bullets coming in from Ryan who Ryanoob has been such a thorn in the side. Ninja now trying to potentially push into the base here. Looks like he's going to wait for his teammates to push up to him as well before he tries to go for any sort of flag grab. Destroy picks up a kill. Play is going to be behind him. Ninja does see him on the radar. Play going to be P2 here. LGG pick up two kills, but Destroy clears out Ninja from under his base, and that's going to help him out. <laughs> well, I just heard from the stage, Ninja, you suck. <laughs> that's one of the best, most simple pieces of trash talk I've ever heard. So much it made my voice crack, Mark. Hey, I'm ill. Don't, don't hate <laughs> on me, okay? My voice is allowed to crack, okay? I'm, I haven't gone through puberty yet. I'm still waiting on it, okay? Vinu trying to get this flag <laughs> return for his nice squad. I'm just going to, like, like quickly just gloss over it, that one. It's but, fine. yeah, if we ignore it, it, didn't, it never happened. Exactly. LG picking up two kills in the kill feed, though. But <laughs> Ninja now pushing top mid. Stop it, because you're breaking me right now. Okay. Uh, does find the plasma pistol as well. But look at this. Luminosity look like they are set up. They have peak side of the map under their control. But Nemesis and Contra pick up kills once again. Nemesis desperately trying to stay alive. Is there anyone in position here from Luminosity to rally this flag? I'm not sure nope. if there is. Return. They do get the return. So Oxygen Supremacy not only showing that they can be aggressive as far as pulling flags, but also getting those flag returns. Dude, I've been so impressed with this guy's shot. It's <laughs> insane. He just doesn't seem to miss. It's crazy. Some of the shots he's been hitting, it, it's ridiculous. He's actually leading his team in kills at the moment with 20. The next nearest is 15. So he has five more than the next nearest in case you needed a max lesson right there. Destroyed will go down as well. I actually want to hop over dead. to Saiyan. He's dead as well. Ninja's the last alive in his own basement. This is kind of a horrible position to be in. So nice, uh, nice job there kind of identifying. You don't want to be trapped in basement, but as soon as he pushes out, guess who else? With one of the best shots in the game, Contra shutting him down with a perfect. And again, more slays coming in from Oxygen Supremacy. And the important thing is, they're so far apart. The kills are so far apart from each other, meaning they're going to be spawning completely stilted. So it's going to be tough here for Luminosity to, to fight out of their base because Oxygen Supremacy respawners are, are going to be coming up and piling the pressure on immediately. Contra backing that player down when he almost had no shield, but Victory X pops back up and says, I want a second go at this. Taking down Contra, as we can see on Victory X, his screen right now, that camo has popped. So moving towards it, Contra going to be trying to battle here. Can Contra, Contra oh. actually turns that one around on Victory X and sends him back into a respawn screen. Contra now going to be pushing across. He's going to find himself that camouflage and he says, thank you very much. I'll take that one from you, Victory. Yeah, not too sure why he wanted to sprint right there, though. There wasn't really too much pressure on that camouflage. It wasn't a luminosity player in the vicinity. So would like to have seen him just grab his shields back right there and then take the camouflage and, and escape with his life. But... Shoulda, woulda, coulda, right? And now it's Luminosity mounting assault, an assault on the Oxygen Supremacy base. 50 seconds left, though, in the game to get them a capture. So it's pretty much the final push here from Luminosity. They need to make sure they get their kills and get this flag on the move as soon as possible. Oh, bad time to reload there for Saiyan as Contra makes him pay there. As you say, Harry, just 30 seconds left on the clock. The guys on Oxygen Supremacy are just 30 seconds away from closing out this series. 3-0. to zero. Luminosity have it all to do they need to push right now but nemesis takes down trippy that's gonna be another kill with saiyans taken down contra just playing base defense right now 15 seconds left on the clock all or nothing right now for luminosity 10 seconds to go it looks like it's gonna be gg oxygen supremacy take down lg 3-0 three to zero harry we have just seen oxygen supremacy take down Luminosity 3-0. to zero. What a fantastic performance from those guys. And you have to say, Harry, they deserved that series win. They did. They absolutely did. They, 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 play, they outplayed Luminosity right there. They, did, they looked like the pro team. And Luminosity looked like the open bracket team. It was... Uh, it was it was just a masterclass. Every single game type. I mean, you can see victory right there. He, he has no idea what just happened. He's got a smile on his face. He's, he's thinking about the next game. But let's bring up these statistics right now. Nemesis, Harry, the player that we probably didn't highlight. We talked about Ryan Eve, We talked about Contra. We talked about Destroyed. Mm -hmm. Nemesis, 25 and 20. Triple kill. Flag caps. That guy did it all in that game. Yeah, Nemesis. We, we saw his point of view a, a few times. 
he was really just just doing absolute work. I actually want to see his damage dealt up there with the highest as well as destroyed as well. But uh, an update on that uh, LG versus Splice game. Looks like we're going to a game five, Mark. Slayer on Colosseum will be the game. I'm not sure if we'll be able to bring that one to you. We'll do our best to make see if we actually can. Do you want to uh, do you want to jump into the feature observer there, Harry, and see if we can bring you a game five from the side station? Maybe.